everyone, it's Billy. Welcome back to Billy Holman Creations. I'm out in the shop today and I wanted to get something prepared for a resin project. So let me show you what I have. Um, you know, I've been out here working on my antler carvings, but today I just wanted to get these prepared for another project. And I don't know if you remember seeing these little uh, square tiles. And I've had these in my garage for some time now. And I also have a bunch of stickers that, oh gosh, I've gathered up. And I want to use my stickers up. And I thought, what better way uh, to use them on these? And they measure, oh, they're about one and three quarters, um, one, yes, one and three quarters square. So I'm going to be out here today and I'm going to take my Dremel tool and just cut these apart and sand this uh, off the back and I'm just going to be using my sanding bit. So this is a quick heads up and I'll join up with you later when we're inside and we can uh, get these ready to make magnets. So I think you'll like that project and if you have any of these laying around or they're quite inexpensive to get a sample sheet at Home Depot or, or somewhere like that at a hardware store. Grab some up. It will make magnets. Okay. See you in a little while. Bye. Well, I'm back. I was able to uh, get all the edges cleaned off with that little rubber part that was holding all these tiles together. And... Um, what I did after that was I had some white glossy paint, acrylic paint, some black acrylic paint, and I went around the edges and painted the raw edges so they would be nice and clean. And then what I'm gonna do next is just take some painter's tape and cover the bottoms of these little tiles because we are going to uh, top coat with resin once we're done decorating them and we uh, can then not worry about it running underneath and ruining the back. I didn't worry about painting the backs because um, I just didn't feel like it was necessary. We're not going to see it although I do like to have everything finished you know the to the best of my ability but I just thought we'd make a few little magnets out of these tiles and I can use them up so a little tape a little burnishing the edges here make sure that's down nice and secure and that's another step taken care of so I thought we would start uh, at the beginning with some simple projects. And what I, what I mean by simple is um, I dug out stickers. I dug out several different stickers. And I thought we can mount some of these stickers on a few of these little tiles. So... Um, Oh, I have a little box of stickers, all kinds of stickers. It's unbelievable. But I'll not chatter, and we'll just go about it. These are little wolves. Look at the wolf cubs. Cubs. I'm just going to pull the sticker off the backing. A little trim piece off of there. And try to center it. I'm eyeballing it. Just try to center these on these tiles. You know, we could eventually uh, do a little trim around the the side. Ooh, there's an extra piece there that needs to come off. We can decorate the sides if we need to. And that looks straight. So we'll start off with stickers. Look at the majesty of these animals. They're just beautiful. Try to center this one. A 
Oh, it's off a, off a little bit, but we'll be okay. Normally I would, you know, stand up and be right on top of these so I could see where center actually is, but it's going to be little magnets and they're perfect for your, um, you know, craft bazaars because a lot of people will just, you know, buy your small ticketed items and it's good to have small ticketed items. I mean, you know, low priced items because if they don't want to spend a lot of money, they can still leave your booth with a little something, which is all right. So I have the art show in September, and then I have three Christmas bazaars, and that'll do me for the year, I think. I enjoy doing them. You meet so many nice people. Meet vendors from all over and get to see everyone's artwork. It's just a fun way to spend a day, plus make a few extra dollars. So these stickers are down and they do have somewhat of a shiny finish, but um, when we set these aside, we're going to top coat those with Mod Podge in a moment. I have a few other little stickers here I came across. This one says, Happy Birthday. It's a little frog, and I thought, well, we can put a little frog on a, on a tile. Make a cute little magnet. I'm going to pull him to the side a little bit. Because I found another little sticker with a birthday candle. Put them on that here. And see, this has a little birthday candle in it and if they overlap that's fine but we're just going to um, hmm it's a bit bigger than I anticipated but we're gonna go with it as long as I don't cover up the lettering all right there's another sticker so I have a bunch more but I'm just gonna do a few different styles at a time what we're going to do is protect these now with some um, Mod Podge. Now I have uh, this matte Mod Podge, but matte or glossy. Oh, look, I can't ever open this one. Oh, gee. Excuse me a moment. I have to go get my little gripper to open this with. Well, I couldn't open that one. Now, as I was saying, that was a matte finish. Uh, I have the gloss finish. It doesn't matter because once the resin goes on top, matte, shiny, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to take my little bit of Mod Podge here. And what I need to do is clean off the edges before I put the lid back on because I'll never get it off. And my husband's out of town, so I can't ask for his help. Anyway, we're just going to Put a coat on. Brush strokes, strokes don't matter. Um, you can do your best to keep them off, or I kind of like the look of the brush strokes across the Mod Podge, and I got too much than I, more than I needed for sure. And we're just going to protect this paper. One of my first videos actually was um, preparing paper for resin. I actually think that was maybe the third or fourth video I did. They still are available to watch. I'm afraid to watch them, but <laughs> I think I've come a long way since then. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to put a finish on here and wipe this excess off. Put that aside to dry. It'll dry clear. Do a couple real quick. Just protect that paper. Hmm. 
Where'd you get the edges? Boy, this brush is holding a lot. Look at me. Let's get rid of most of it. I'll have that all over my hands by the time we're finished. Wolf. Wolf. I already put some on here. Let's finish this one. Cute little ones. Little pups. I think there's paint. Oh, look, there's still red paint in my brush. But this is my Mod Podge brush, so I should probably have stirred that. Let's just get some on this sticker. Once you get the resin on, you'll have a nice little dome on top. And they'll be very nice. Stocking stuffers. Or if you're like me, I have magnets all over my refrigerator with my little notes on there. Little quick recipes or shop, you know, grocery list, whatever it takes. A magnet comes in handy. All right. I can finish the rest later, but we'll just get a few of these taken care of. Oh, I see this one is lifting a little bit. Let me press this down. That's my brush. Okay. Whoops. It's, it doesn't want to stick. Go on. There we go. Stick that in some water. But before I do that, I'm going to wet my sponge because another thing we can do is temporary tattoos. And I found these black and whites that will fit nicely. And, um, you know, they all come with this top protective piece of paper or plastic. I'm going to peel that off and then, you know, be sure to cut the number of the tattoo off. But I like to go around the edges because you're going to place these upside down. And um, just going around the edges gives you a little easier guideline as to how or where you want to place them. And in this case, we are going to eyeball the center again. So, it's sticky on the top, so I want to try to keep my fingers off of that. Did I say off the top? I meant on the top. They're sticky. But we'll just go around. And trim that off a little bit. Now, I can try to eyeball or guesstimate where this is going to be placed. And it may be off a little. It's too bad you couldn't see the, the back side. It would help. But let's just do one more real quick. Peel that off. Maybe I'll leave that on before I cut. Or take it off after I cut. Pretty lotus flower. Now with these, we won't have to um, do a protective coat. You know, we don't need to do Mod Podge or anything. We'll just set these in, in place and they'll be good to go. Give myself an outline. Okay. Another white tile. And we'll get that protective co cover off. 
didn't even look at my nails today. They're a mess as always. All right. Let me see. I might. I don't know if I want to do it straight across or at an angle. I think I'll go a little bit of an angle here. There. Set that on. Do that one in a little while. Now, I'm just going to take a wet sponge. Let me bring it down here so you can see. And we're just going to daub the backs. And as it gets wet, that back piece of paper will slide off. Just daub and daub and daub. And of course, before you resin, you want to be sure that these are completely dry. Oh, there's a cat hair, of course. There we go. Got it. Now, let me see if I can't lift this off. And it's not wet enough. Ooh, what did I do here? It must have moved here. Let's see. There we go. Whoops. No, 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 no. Get down. I need something with Oh, please don't wrinkle too badly. It's going to wrinkle. Maybe not. Ooh, try it again. There we go. It's moving. Try this corner. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oops, belly. Maybe because the surface of the tile is so slippery. There, we'll just pat that down. Like that. Let it dry. Maybe should add a little more. Oh, it's slipping. If that's your cue, when it starts to slip, you should be good to go. Oh, that's pretty. Could have come up a little more. There. That's our tattoos. Now I can stick my decoupage brush in this water and set it aside. And a little dish soap, warm water. Your brushes will be nice and clean. Let that dry. Okay. Now we can add a little twist to these with more stickers. I, you know, you get a lot of these patriotic stickers in the mail and um, I think they're lovely. So I put them aside. I've got some oh, American flags here that'll be really nice. They're the perfect size also. But uh, right here, I forgot I did shrinky dinks forever and an age ago. These are your little shrinky dinks that you um, color with either markers or paint and then you put them in the oven and they just shrink and they come out pretty hard. But uh, that tells me because I didn't do it, uh, I'm going to, pardon me, plug my hot glue gun in. I'm going to need it. That I did not get ready to do, but everything's handy. Just a quick reach across. Let me just get that warming up. Okay, I'm gonna put a piece of paper under that. Now we'll grab a tile, and uh, first of all, I think I just want to do a nice single magnet with our glorious American flag and be very simple white on white I should have decoupaged that wasn't thinking all right I will add some decoupage to that momentarily but once the glue gun heats up I was thinking maybe we could um, 
add a few dimensions here to some of these. For instance, Queen Liberty herself. We could, I don't want to cover up the flag. Let's do this. Look at these four stickers. What we can do is do some layers. Now I'm going to try to look closely here and see if I can get uh, this right on the edge. They're not perfectly square, they're rectangular. But even if we put one, we could do, you know, all four corners. Or I think what we can do. Statue of Liberty. We can put her down here. I wasn't even thinking about the decoupage part of this one. That's okay. It's not quite on the edge. Put that over here. Yeah, I just wanted to use up a few of these little things here. You know, now we could even add, uh, now these are oh, small pieces that came off of, you know, uh, address labels. Integrity, that's, an, that's a good word right there, isn't it? Um, integrity, or what I thought we could do was somehow put one of these patriotic hearts on there. It's going to cover her face, a bit of the shield, but I think that would be pretty cool right there. And I do have some um, stars, you know, from, uh, you know, the little gold stars you used to get in school. Actually, look at here. I found I had stars here rather than cover that up completely we can add a couple stars to that that would be pretty now that my um brush is in the water i'm gonna dig it out and dry it off or get the water off because we do need to decoupage i completely forgot about that part we could chance it they're pretty shiny should we just chance it I think we can. We'll just keep on going. Keep on going. So maybe I want to do two like this. Let's grab another tile. And I'm going to put Miss Liberty down here. And your corner can, can cover. part of her crown and we can see the full shield or most of the shield anyway. Gosh, I cannot eyeball that edge. That'll do. Get that one down. Get that one on. And There we go. And we can add a star when the glue is hot. Um, another thing we could do with these hearts, let's see, how can we, we could do a single heart. I drilled holes in that because I was gonna make, apparently I was gonna make a bracelet or a necklace with it. But I'm thinking we can put, rather than try to cut and trim these, oh, we could do that. Let's just get rid of this part. Cut that down. Get that even. Where's the end? There they go. There. You can put Miss Liberty on here. A 
it's crooked. And hold it up. Put Miss Liberty there. Push that down real well. Let's go ahead and put one in this corner. I like collaging. I haven't done it for quite some time. Possibly. Let's see how well I can trim this. Well, that's a circle. We don't want a circle. What do we have here? An eagle, a shield, and a star. No, I'm not feeling it. That star. Let's try this star. Trim. I have to quit saving stuff. I'm telling you what. This is why I called my channel Recycled, or my slogan is Recycled and Renewed, because for me, throwing things away, it's, it's hard on me. <laughs> it's an illness, I say. But let's see. Oh, if that sits there... We can put a star here. Maybe we'll just put a star on the other side. Lift it to see. Yes, these are pretty shiny, so I think the paper will be protected. Really come get that on there. Okay, burnish this down. I might have to trim that. I got a little too close to the edge. We're good. Now my glue gun should be heated up. But I did want to, did I? Oh, there's my single flag. Forgot I put it there. Okay. We're just going to get my glue gun over here. It'll reach. And I'm just going to tack this down. Like that. We'll have our little collage. Where's that hole? Okay, I want to try to make that hole not so obvious. I like that. I could have put the star straight. The side and get this one. Yeah, I like well. I'm going to put this hole in this corner so it's not so obvious. See where I put that little hole? We don't want to see that. Very good. All right, I'm going to be right back. Um, I might finish up the few that I have ready to go with just the stickers. And then we'll go on to another way to decorate these tiles. I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back um, with another step as to how I wanted to decorate some of these tiles. I finished the ones with the um, stickers and now we're going to go on to some of these little resin doodads that I had poured with extra resin. I had this little uh, rose mold and this I believe is from Michaels 
where they do their wedding cake decorating or condiments. And also there's a few flowers that I had done in this mold here. If you remember this one from the, um, the little deer, the doe and the, the buck in the forest, a little forest scene. Uh, this was from Michael's also. Now these are, you know, a matte finish so they don't have the shine when you uh, remove your resin pieces, but that's always okay. They're just cute little shapes. So I've got some extras here and I thought I've got my glue gun handy and I'm just going to um, glue down some of these pieces here. And we won't be done with that either. There's more to it. There's more to it. So I'm just going to, oh, I didn't get glue in that deep enough. Just going to place the glue here, set them down. I'll just squeeze that one down. The little butterflies are cute. I painted it, added a little black to the body and the antennae. And we'll put this one here as if she's heading for that flower. Could have brought it center. That's okay. Another butterfly here. Am I in frame? Yes, I'm okay. Let's see. Where should we put this little? Oh, we can put her this way. Glue. Thought that would look pretty against the black. We can add a rose. Now, if you look, these were uh, roses from the leftover um, little bathroom shelf I made for my makeup. So they were glitter and silver and flower um, petals. We're gonna kinda kitty corner or catty wampus these two. I hope I have room for this one. Oh, maybe not, oh, well, we'll put this little one there. All right, just a few more and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. This is a pretty one too. Bring that in there. Whoops. Little one with gold in it. Tiny, tiny blue one. I can do that without, I mean, I'll just do it this way. Put it on the tile so I don't burn myself. Put that aside. And then I have three roses here, three different sizes. That mold has about six different sizes, um, but there's no pairs, you know, so you couldn't do like a pair of earrings right off the bat. You'd have to do separate pours. Which is kind of a bummer. Let's just make a cluster here. Just want to use up these little pieces, use up these little tiles. They do look plain, but we're not quite finished yet. I love this butterfly thought about making a bunch of these and putting them on, whoops, hair clips would be really cute. For little girls. Or moms. Moms still wear brats. Okay. I've got glue strings everywhere. All right. Leave that one there. I'm going to unplug my glue gun because we won't need it for a bit. So, pardon me. I'm going to reach over. There we go. All right. Now, another thought. 
we need leaves. We've got flowers and butterflies, but we need leaves. So um, I actually looked through my stencils today. I forgot all about having little stencils, and there were leaf stencils there. But I thought, you know, I'm just going to freehand them. We're just going to freehand a few little leaves here with this is my uh, Sharpie fine point marker. And we'll just bring a leaf here. And this does not have to be perfect because we are going to um, add to this. It's hard to write on this stuff. Oh, that's not a good leaf, but black, we don't have to freehand those. We can't see those. This one we could oh, do a little leaf here. Might be able to do a little leaf here. Whoops, it's a little long. Um, maybe there can be a bigger leaf here. Like so. Oops, ooh, the roses. Got to have leaves here. And I know rose leaves are jagged, but um, I don't need to make this jagged. I just need a, I just need a guide. Just a guide. All right. Now, we are going to use glitter and some clear glue. And uh, we're going to paint those leaves on to add a little more dimension and a little more color. And, oh, there, oh, I got that open. Yep. Glue. Now, I taped this up because apparently I was getting glitter everywhere. So let me lean this over the garbage can real quick and try to get this tape off. Because I had them laying down in a container and not standing up because it wouldn't fit. So, oh, scissors. Hello. There we go. This is not, um, you know, high class glitter. This is probably what I found at the secondhand store or um, Walmart. Not sure. But it's green. And we want it green. So I've got a little spoon here. Probably will need quite a bit. So I'm just, well, maybe I can just pour a little clear glue in there. I don't want this runny, but I want to be able to paint it on. Okay, we're guessing with that. And if that works, we're golden. Now, stump a little. This is not chunky glitter, but it's not fine glitter. It's rather, you know, your typical medium glitter, I guess you'd say. Let's see how that does us. Get runny. Stir it up real well. I should have taken another mold out to use any excess I have. Not to worry. Let's see. Maybe a little more. I want it to hold up and not spread out too badly. Ooh, I just had a thought about Christmas already with green glitter. My goodness, I'm jumping the gun here. Gotta get Halloween over with. You'll probably see this video Labor Day weekend, so I hope you have a very safe and and happy um, Labor Day weekend. Whether you're out of town or on the road or staying home, I hope you have a wonderful day. Let me put this on here. Close that up. And I just grabbed a 
old paintbrush. And that looks foamy, doesn't it? I guess it's bound to, though. Oh, well. I'm just going to take a little bit of this and try to uh, make a leaf. And I can push it up close to the flowers. Just like that. Pull it over here. That's what I meant when I I just wanted a little guide. Go to this one. Whoops. Stuck my finger in it already. Okay. Right, the husband was making a signal to me. Did you need something, hon? Do you need something? No. Okay. I'm probably going to have a beer that wants to change his water. Okay. Now you know he's going to run down and have a beer. Okay. We've been pretty lazy, both of us, today. <laughs> Gosh. I worked my butt off yesterday and this morning. I did take a nap. I have a young man, a friend of mine, who came over and did all of our windows. Uh, he f did the inside yesterday. So my plan was to just do some computer work while he did that, but no, I ended up washing curtains, ironing curtains, dusting as we went along and it was a good day. I, I'm really appreciative that he helped helped us get that done. Physically, we can't do that sort of thing anymore. And it had been a while, so very much appreciated. Dusty, thank you so much, my love. All right, he watches my videos. Now, I should probably put a little green in the middle, wouldn't you think? Just, if I can do it without burgering up the roses. So that is what I'm up to, and this will take me a little bit. Just got a few to do, but I will um, pause this and get back to you when I've got them complete. Then we're going to go on to something else while these dry. How's that sound? All right, we'll see you in a little while. Okay, the glittered leaves on the flowers with the butterflies are finished and they're set aside to dry. So let's take another approach. I have eight more white tiles here and my glue, my clear glue. And we are going to cover these tiles in glitter. I have this blue glitter that I got from Walmart. It's called Winterfest. And we don't need an argument. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Brian has a hurt leg. He wants outside. I'm not going to let him go out. He has a vet appointments in the morning. But Bert wants out. So, if, excuse me. But attend to the critters. Okay, I don't know what he did, but three days ago he ended up limping on one hind leg and I can't seem to see what is going on and he still won't put pressure on it. But, you know, he doesn't howl when I try to look or rub or touch or anything, so I, I don't know. And uh, he and his two brothers are due for their shots anyway, so tomorrow we're just nipping it in the bud, all three of them. So, decoupage brush. My white glue, just going to paint a, uh, just a, just a solid coat on top. I was going to, um, or hit and miss, really doesn't matter. I was going to try to make a design, but uh, now nah, we're just going to do it this way. So go ahead and 
Oh, I didn't even open that cap yet, or it's not open all the way. Gosh, thought I was ready. Well, I'll deal with that later. Let's have a spoon. I just had a spoon in my hand. Because I don't need a big spoon. That one won't even fit in there. I have a tiny metal spoon here. Oh, so I thought. Where are you? Here we go. Just going to sprinkle. This has uh, different sizes. Little little pieces. A little purple in it. Little pieces, big pieces, medium pieces. Let's do another one. Just keep going. I've got eight of these tiles here I want to do. So I'm just going to cover them with glue. It can be sporadic. I mean, I don't need to get the edges. It's not a big concern. So let's just get some more of this on here. Are you in frame with me? Yes. I've used this glitter before. It's very pretty, but um, the, the container is deceiving because there's an indentation at the bottom so they can stack on each other. And it looks like your jar is full, but it's really not. So I'm going to just get some of that off. Now that's not a lot. The purple shows more than the blue, but if I can push them on, I'll just push them on here. It's going to be covered with resin anyway. Okay, I'm going to set that aside to dry. And then Actually, I really don't think I need to wait for those to dry. I can finish the rest and let me show you the plan for the blue glittered ones. Set that aside. So my heat gun, heat gun is still warm. And what I, let me bring them back. What I plan on doing is taking these shells that were poured in resin and I painted them silver. And the little star that was left from the uh, dolphin bookmarker. So I am just going to get some glue on the back of the shell. Set it down about there. Peel the tape off of that. It's got a sticky bottom, but we're going to go ahead and dob some glue on it. So I've got the shell and a starfish. And then a little pearl. Could have put it down there, but I think I'm going to put the pearl up here. Just like that. And I want to put the hole to the side so you don't see it. Basically that's what I'm going to do with some of those and then I also have a seashell that I painted silver. These were uh, like a copper brown. So I thought we'll just use this shell and we'll set it there along with the Starfish. Oh, there's no end to what you can put on these little tiles. And you know me, I'm just trying to use up what I've accumulated and then the little dolphin. We'll put him on there. Don't melt him. He'll be. There. 
Now I can let those set up. And I have more shells. I have one with a uh, seahorse that I painted. Here's a little turtle. He was painted out of resin. Uh, he was brown resin. Little fish. No, that was a a green resin. And another little fish that I had painted silver. So I'm going to carry on with that process. And stay tuned because I've got one last uh, style to go after um, these are set up and I'm done. So I'll be right back. Okay, last but not least, I have some black tiles left and a few white ones. And I thought we would do dried flowers and use... Uh, the ones that are pretty flat and I'm going to go ahead and use my clear glue again and let's just start with some pretty blue ones over here I thought I would go by color so I'm just going to put a base coat of the clear glue down And we'll see where we can go from there. Let me get my tweezers. And this is one big flower right here. So, or is there two together? No. Oh, maybe. You can see where they dye them. Look at that. I believe they dye them. That is got to be, oh thinking there might be two there. Nope. Just the one big one. So let's just go ahead and put that one big one on here. Something with a little green. That's got green. Oh, there's blue leaves. I don't think we need blue leaves. It's purple. I've got some green right here. This one's shaped as round. Well, let's go ahead and use that. But I need more glue. And then I won't worry about, um, I guess I could cover glue on the top, but we're gonna put, of course, resin on it anyway. It's pretty little blue flower here. Oh. It's not going to stick without my blue. Oh, where'd you go? Where's that little purple one? We'll give it a little bit of a curve. Not quite sure. We've got some pretty flat blue ones here. Flowers broke off of that one. Whoop! I just flung it. Well, let's find something different. It's a little sprig of blue. Let's just go ahead and put part of that down over here. I thought the colors would look really pretty. Oh no, oh no, look at that. On the black. Well, I just broke that one, which means I need to find someone, something to put in its place right there. A little more gentle, Billy. A little more careful. There's a, that's the same color blue, though. Darn, I should have went a different route. Let's try this one. We still 
still need a sprig of some kind. There's a let's try this one. Break part of that off. Didn't plan this one very well. But I know there's an art or a knack to flower arranging, and that's something I've not encountered much. Oh, we need something bright. That middle's not very bright, is it? How about a uh, pretty purple one right here? Offset that. Nope. I just want them to be as flat as possible. Ooh. That's purple. Let's just go ahead and use this other big blue right here. be good right there it's quite a cluster but it's a pretty cluster and I'm just gonna daub some glue on top make sure those set down and you know I did have some very fine glitter here. Maybe, maybe we can accent that a little bit if I can do this without making a heck of a mess. This is very fine. Let's add a little glitter to that. It needs a little kick. much better. Maybe too much. Okay. It's got a little glitter. It'll look pretty with the resin on it. Might need a little white. Oh gosh. I keep going. I'm going to cover up the whole thing and we, we'll be starting over. Oh, perfect little sprig right here. It's pink. It's pink. But I think we're going to put it right there. Should pull that branch off. There we go. Give it a little something something. Okay, look, look at me. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. <laughs> it wasn't the greatest, was it? Let's try again. Let's try again. We'll put, look, look at that one. That's got all kinds of sprigs attached. Let's do this one a little different. Let's do... Got a piece of fern over here. Let's do that. I'm down to really smaller pieces. Now, some of these florals I got on Amazon, and some I got, oh, what I want to say, Ally, Ally Express. But, uh, we're just going to use what we've got. See if I can't make something pretty out of it. It's pretty just as it is. This flower, I think, is too big. That's... That was a problem with the last one. It was just too big, I think. Um, now, this is a pretty blue. But I think I want to save that one because I have another... Oh, something, something I want to do with these flowers. And that's the only dark blue one like that I have. So I'm going to set that aside. Let's... um. 
Let's do a little sprig of that right there. Oh, that's the right side. Get this down. Let's see which looks natural. Huh. I think I'm gonna go right there. Off. You'll never believe what just happened to me under here, under my desk. <laughs> I'll get, I'll share it with you. I think it's kind of funny. Um, you know, I watch a lot of artisans <laughs> uh, who have a lot of their supplies under their under their desk or under their table, and they're always reaching under to get. Uh, you know, plug something in or get the heat gun or there's resin down at their feet or this and that. And um, I've not shared this before, but you know what's under my feet? Um, the cat box. The cat box is under my counter right here as we speak. And just as I was working here, um, one of my darlings decided to freshen up the air a little bit. Oh my God. So yeah, yeah, I've been covering that up for a while, and uh, but she really had a good one, and it's nasty. <laughs> so here I sit, here I sit. Oh well, I guess it's just part of part of being. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't. My cats. I only had one cat that ever really needed a cat box, and all these years I never had a cat box, and um, then I discovered, you know, come winter, I've got some wusses. And uh, by golly, they need a cat box in the winter time, and so it's still here. And I clean it every day. It's not used all the time because they can go outside. But oh my God, I knew this day would come. I just knew it. So, oh poor Billy, she's got a bunch of crap under her work stable, <laughs> work station, and that's the truth. Okay, so much for that. I'm gagging. Anyway. There's another little blue one, which I think is going to be really pretty. It's a little simpler than the other, and I make, I think that makes it nicer. So, um, what's going to happen now is I'm going to go outside and get some fresh air, clean this out, get some fresh air. Oh, my goodness. That's a, oh, they're healthy. And um, I'll come back. <laughs> I'll come back and, and work on the rest of these, and then I will see you tomorrow when everything is good and dry and we'll do some top coats so um have a pleasant evening everyone thanks for joining me at billy holman creations recycled and renewed and we are recycling old tile so i'll see you tomorrow have a great evening bye bye stop good morning everyone and welcome back i do apologize for that brief interruption uh last night oh it was pretty potent so anyway um cat box is clean and I wish they'd go outside. I mean, it's summertime. Anyway, I am ready to do a top coat on these magnets. I mixed up just almost two ounces of Pudio um, epoxy resin. This is a one-to-one. -one. It's crystal clear and self-leveling, so it says. And I've used this just for top coating on a few items prior to this. So, put that aside. I've let it set for about five minutes. Hopefully to thicken up a little bit. Uh, you have a 30 minute working time. So, I actually came up with 45 magnets in total. And I'm not going to walk you through every one of these that I do a top coat on. But uh, I've got whoops, these little shop glasses from the dollar store. Or we call it family dollar here. And uh, you get 24 in a package for a dollar. I mean, that's pretty good. And I'm going to use those for risers. So, I've got a little spoon and I've got my resin. And, oh, I actually picked up some of these. There was four in a package. I'm excited. You know, I, I see these used all the time and I didn't have any. Um, I'm wondering, some people cut straight across there. I might do that to one of them, but we shall see. Anyway, let's start over here. I have a tiger. It says, go get him, tiger. And I put a little rainbow sticker on that. So, we can move that in a minute. 
I'm just going to take a little spoon. I might not have enough resin, but I didn't uh, want to go overboard either. So I'm just going to do a just go around the rim first and then fill it in. Let it do its thing. And we can pull that down. And I'm hoping, you know, I actually if it goes over the edge, that's great. If not, um, that's great too. But you know, I think I want it over the edge because that's just paint on the sides there. So that would probably be the better bet is just to let it run over. I'll help it along a little bit. Just need a thin coat. Just to cover those up and seal them in. So this is what I'm going to be doing for the next few minutes. And when I see you again, oh, we should be able to just put the backs on and uh, be ready to go. I have a little brush here. Let me just, an old one of these throwaway brushes. We're just going to guide it along the edges and uh, let it drip. Make sure it's completely covered. And I'll watch it for bubbles. I'll take the heat gun to it in a little bit. And uh, one down, 44 to go. I will see you in a little while. And also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. That helps uh, tell YouTube that you're um, watching my videos. And they will help promote them so more people... Um, can see them out there. I appreciate that so much. Anyway, take good care and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi everyone. Um, I want you to take a look at this as I scan past these magnets. Um, I said there was 45. Nope. 57. I made 57 magnets. Aren't they cute? Look at all those. They are dry and resined over. There's that blue one, that first one, that flower one. It's it's rather ugly. It's a sad one. But anyway, look at these. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I made this many. There's happy birthdays. There's the flags. Cutie. Our wolves. Oh my gosh. That's a bunch. That is a bunch. They turned out nice. I'm going to go through them because I did see a couple that have those little uh, dimples in the top coat. And I might have to set them aside to, um, you know, put another coat on top to cover those up. The dried flowers are very pretty. Some of them, you know, are sticking up a little bit, but I don't think that matters. Um, but I know it was one of those that had a dimple in it. But anyway, oh my gosh, I love the white and black. There's a little frog with the candle. Look at the ocean scenes. Those are really pretty. I thought those turned out nice. There's a turtle. More flowers. Those are the uh, resin flowers and butterflies. But uh, anyway, I'm going to put this camera on my stand and I'll show you quickly how we're going to finish them off. I'll only do a couple and then I'll be back to show you everything finished and uh, have a nice picture. Okay, I'll see you in just a little while. Okay, that's a lot of magnets, isn't it? My gosh, I didn't realize how many I had there, but you know, I kind of go on um, assembly line style and it's uh, until I run out of something and apparently I ran out of tiles first. So, 57. Anyway, I have a box of magnetic strips here. And these are, oh, these are half inch strips. I've also got some uh, flat back magnets there. And then I have these. These are, uh, let's see, I don't have the label. Uh, Pro Mag products. And I believe I got these at Michael's quite some time ago. I'm sure they're easy to find but uh, these seem pretty heavy duty and so you know the tape um, I think the tape might need 
like two pieces across the back. Not sure, but all we need to do is just uh, get a blade here and I sh could heat these up so the tape comes off easily. But let's just uh, get under frame here. Oh, let me see if I can start right there. This is why I have such lovely nails. Just gonna peel that off. And see the backs, you know, they're not finished, but they look okay. I could have found one easier, couldn't I, from the first get go? Well, let's get under there. I burnished them, that's for sure. Burnish the tape. Boy, it's on there. Okay. Well, I hope you might um, try this. You can, you know, make little magnets. Oh my gosh, with anything. Um, you know, those little wood squares or or if you happen to have any tiles or come across any of these at a, you know, a yard sale or an estate sale. Gosh, pick them up. And like I said, you can get a sample sheets at the uh, hardware stores and I'm pretty sure they're inexpensive so yeah what else could you use that square anything anything whether it be a square circle rectangle I uh, just uh, use stickers we've got glitter anything you come across that small will fit on top and just uh, resin over it and you've got a beautiful little magnet so I'm just going to take some of this uh, Loctite Super Gel. And I did check the magnets. Either side will work. I wasn't sure if you had to do one versus the other. And we'll just uh, put a little dab of glue on. I guess I'll go around it a little bit. A little dab of glue on. Center it in your piece. Just hold that just a moment. It'll take hold pretty quick. And there you have it. Cute little magnets. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, all of the tape off these. If I find a rough edge, I might just take an emery board, you know, and file it down. This one's pretty good. And like I said, if I find any with the dimples, I'll just possibly do another top coat but there you have it cute little magnets for your refrigerator for gifts stocking stuffers take to your next craft show um yeah i turned I, I like how they turned out so take good care everyone thanks for watching please hit the like the like button and subscribe if you're new and um i thank you all for joining me so uh take, take good care happy labor's day weekend and i'll see you in the next video bye bye Well, good morning. Here they are. I have them um, on my door to my garage because my refrigerator is so full of magnets. <laughs> anyway, up close, here's what I have finished. The others I will put a top coat on today, but I wanted you, you to see how pretty they turned out. I really like them. I hope you do too. Anyway, have a great day, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.